How to build a custom Ansible execution environment? Using an Ansible execution environment is the latest technology to maintain up to date the Python dependency of your Ansible collections without interfering with your Linux system. It's the evolution of a Python virtual environment. This initial configuration sometimes is a roadblock for some Ansible users. I'm Luca Burton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Let's talk about the Ansible execution environment. The Ansible execution environment are container images that can be utilized as Ansible control nodes. It's the latest technologies developed by Red Hat to simplify the automation process. The main advantage is a common environment for development and production images using container technology creating portable automation runtimes. This technology supersedes manual Python virtual environment, Ansible module dependencies and bubble wrap. Experienced users are probably familiar with a lot of challenges managing custom Python virtual environments and Ansible module dependencies. Enterprise users of Ansible automation platform was familiar with limited execution job under bubble wrap in order to isolate processes. The creation is performed by the Ansible Builder tool for execution environment. Ansible Builder produces a directory that acts as a build context for the container image build, contained containing the container file along with any other files that need to be added to the image. On the other hand, the execution of an execution environment is performed by the Ansible Runner tool. The Ansible Runner enables you to run the execution environment as a container in the current machine. It is basically taking care that the content runs as expected. Now, demo time. How to build an Ansible execution environment using Ansible-Builder command line tool. I'm going to show you how to build a custom my underscore EE Ansible execution environment using Ansible-Builder tool, specifying some custom system, Python, and collection dependency. For example, let's build a custom Ansible execution environment named my underscore EE with system requirement Git, Python library Boto3, and Amazon collection community dot AWS to interact with Amazon Web Services. Are you excited? Let's see the code! Welcome on my editor. First of all, let's code together the execution dash environment YML. This is the execution environment definition. It's a YAML document. Let's start with free dash and version is one. Let's specify the dependency that we would like to set. So we need a collection, so Galaxy and the requirement YML file, some Python, de some Python dependency, so requirement txt, and some system dependency specifying beamdep.txt. If you want to skip, simply don't add the line or leave it blank. Uh, I would like also to specify some additional build steps, specifically one before, so pretend, prepend. So first I would like to run PIP3 to install and upgrade PIP and setup tools. This is a quite common command for every PIP run. And 
At the end of execution I would like to ls-l-al of the root directory. And that's it, this is a simple execution environment definition for Ansible Builder. Easy peasy. Ok, well there are also three other files that I need to show you. First is requirements.yml, this is the standard Ansible Galaxy requirements with a collections list and in my case only community.aws, the requirements.txt, this is a st standard Python dependency, Boto Core, Boto Free and Boto, specifying some version, and this is a system definition file with a kit. Let's the real fun begin. So le welcome to my terminal. I'm going to connect to my virtual machine via SSH DevOps at demoexample.com and I'm going to launch over there the Ansible Builder Builder Build for my custom execution environment. So first of all, let's let me move to a directory called EE that contains all the four files that we created together in our editor and let me launch the ansible-builder. As expected, this command is not found because it's not part of a standard Ansible installation. So in my case, I'm running against Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8.5, so I'm able to, ac to access my enterprise repository. So let me try to install using DNF Ansible-Builder. Okay, now he's checking the status of my subscription and return the available repository. Well, none. Okay, this is a quite common case because I need to enable the Ansible Automation Platform repository on this workstation. Okay, so let me uh, use the subscription manager specifying the repository. Okay, now we need to go a little bit deeper, specify Ansible Automation Platform 202 for rel 8 x 8664-bit and uh, once the repository was successful enabled for this workstation, I'm able to access the package build for our Ansible Builder. Ok, repository is successfully enabled for this system, so now I'm ready to have fun. Ok, DNF install Ansible Builder this time is returning one package and with all the relatives dependency. 37 packages, most of them are related to container tools and uh, Podman. You know Podman is the Docker alternatives made by Red Hat. The main advantage is that it can run in user space without needing root privileges. Ok, and uh, a bunch of other Python dependencies that basically is uh, DNF, the package manager is taking care of downloading, installing and verifying on the system. Once everything is set down, we can start the real building of Ansible execution environment. This is going to take a while depending, depending on the performance of your machine and your network performance. Ok, as you can see, everything is pretty Smooth, this is a standard installation of packages performance by DNF, the Red Hat package manager for Enterprise Linux. Great, now everything is successfully installed and completed. Now I'm able to return to the normal user and execute my ansible-builder command. So let me try out Ansible-Builder, this time is not returning a command not found, but as you can see we have help available. Ok, well, we can do some different options, in my use case I'm going to move forward with a build operation. Let me specify a custom name with dash t parameter, my underscore ee, 
And let me specify also verbosity level 3. This is quite huge, so we are going to see a lot of text in our standard out. Well, we have a problem on container registry authentication. So let's move forward using the link in the description. Ok, the link needs to be opened by a browser and point out to this page with a common instruction for Red Hat Container Registry Authentication. Basically, there are three different uh, registry, registry.access, redhat.com, registry.redhat.io, this one that we need, registry.connect, redhat.com. These are four different uh, registry and you can authenticate via Podman, Scopeo or Docker. There are also other interesting and useful information in this page that is quite long and uh, is worth to take a look. So as you can see there are more information how to modify the token and whatever. Ok, but back on us, we, need, we would like to access using Podman the official Red Hat uh, alternative to Docker, so let me copy and paste and return to the console. Back on our terminal, let's paste the command and enter our username and password to connect to Red Hat portal. This is mine and I'm not sharing my password. Once the login is uh, succeeded, we can uh, again execute our Ansible builder. This time is able to connect to registry.redhat.io and successfully download the execution environment minimal image provided by Red Hat for RHEL 8. Ok, there is a plenty of uh, downloading file. This is going to take a while, just the time to download the content from the internet and start the building process. Wow, now is, uh, as you can see, was uh, trying to install any role and there isn't any, try to install any collection and this time there is one and so Ansible Builder is downloading the community.aws latest version from the Galaxy registry and install it inside. Any relevant dependency uh, will be all also downloaded, but there isn't any in this case. Ok, well also it's downloading the latest build of the Ansible Builder inside of it, so being able to create an image by themselves. Ok, so once uh, everything is sorted out, the, all the free dependencies are installed inside, so the system dependencies are uh, used with the package manager MicroDNF, this is a stripped version of DNF specifically designed for container for the lowest footprint ever. So as you can see, it's downloading the relevant metadata and in a blink of an eye, it is downloading the Git repository. Moving forward, there is a Python dependency and uh, so it's taking care of downloading the Boto core Boto free and Boto library. So everything is uh, done uh, automatically without any human interaction, as you can see. Just the time to download the content and installing in the system. So PAP, the Python package manager, is taking care of all the heavy burden on it. Okay, here we are. In a blink of an eye, we have. Uh, the collection, oh, we have a Python packages successfully installed in our system. What else do we need? Well, we have a Ansible collection, we have a system call dependency. The Python also have uh, some uh, dependency, as you can see, but everything was sorted out. So it looks like now we are running some uh, pre Task, PFE and setup tools uh, are successfully installed and uh, it looks like that everything is ready to be executed. So let me wait just a few more seconds and I think we are in good shape. 
So basically Ansible Builder is taking care of uh, putting all together all this utility and create one simple content image definition. So, okay, now it's taking care of uh, managing the Git packages. As you can see, everything was done and packing everything together, we have a complete status. The build context is available under the context directory in the local directory. Yay, this is a great success. So basically we started the Ansible Builder, how to create an Ansible execution ex environment as we please. This is a fantastic. I'm so happy that everything is run as expected. So we have my underscore EE execution environment ready, ready to have fun. So let me list the, the status of the directory. As you can see, there is an extra context directory with some file on it. And specifically, there is a container file that is the most important file in the directory. Let me cut on screen and these are all the definition of our execution environment image. Now you know how to build an Ansible execution environment using some custom dependency for system, Python and Ansible collection using Ansible-Builder command line tool. Thank you for watching. I hope this lesson was useful for you and see us on the next adventure of Ansible Pilot and have a great day. Yes, let's automate more. This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun.